Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you want to check out my channel sometimes, don't forget to subscribe. But if you want to keep up to date, make sure to click the bell or follow me on various social media platforms. The links are in the description below. Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and today I would like to talk about Games as a Service. Now, what exactly is Games as a Service? It's a very new and alien concept in gaming today. It's something that a lot of us are still trying to get used to, but essentially Games as a Service is a philosophy where a game will constantly evolve and grow as time goes on. They will take advantage of new technologies as they present themselves, they will add a lot of new content for players to keep on playing for years to come. Now, this isn't exactly a new concept. This has been around for a long time, basically ever since the very first MMO games. I'm talking about all the way back in the mud days when games were text-based, when they had no graphics, or if they had graphics, they were ASCII-based graphics. Crazy stuff, I know. But now, games as a service has penetrated every facet of gaming as we know it today. It is everywhere, from mobile games, computer, console. You can't avoid games as a service in mainstream games. Think of the most popular games that are out right now. Games like Fortnite and PUBG. Those are games as a service. Those are games that have constantly evolved and grown. They've added new content as time has went on. They have monetized their games through various means like microtransactions in order to fuel the continued development of these projects. And of course, those aren't the only recent examples. We've also had games like Overwatch, which is a very popular multiplayer shooter that utilizes this model and funds itself through microtransactions. Another great example, of course, is Rainbow Six Siege. Instead of the classic model of charging for DLC for new maps for people to play, They've instead opted to give away all that content for free, but they fund the continued development of the game with microtransactions. For someone like myself that's been gaming for over 30 years, that does seem like a very foreign concept. I can certainly understand why some of my peers are afraid of games as a service, because they are worried that it will threaten the way that they know gaming, that it will threaten what they love about gaming. But this is a new generation of gamers, and this is what they are accustomed to now. And games as a service is something that I think we really should give a chance, that we should let it evolve and grow to see how things can actually form. These are new types of games, games that we never even dreamed of being able to play as kids. And now kids today are able to enjoy these games at the comfort of their own home, on their phone, wherever they are. They can play these games, and it's really an exciting time for these people. Now, it does seem like it's a dangerous precedent for anybody that's been in the gaming industry for a long time that we're worried that these types of games will take away from the types of games that we grew up with. But I kind of believe that now is the best time for gaming because we still have the classics that we can go back to. And thanks to methods like emulation, we can enjoy these games better than ever before with higher fidelity graphics, a lot more convenience such as save states and being able to use whatever controllers we prefer, and so much more. So we still have these great classic games that we can go back to. And you can still play the old systems too if you really wanted to. I mean, there's not, nothing stopping you, right? So games of service is something that I really want to see through. I really want to see what the gaming industry can bring to the future. What kind of new and innovative experiences that we will be able to see with this. Even though some of my peers are covering their eyes and ears, fearful for the change of the future, I am glad to embrace it. I'm really interested in seeing what kind of experiences we can have with these types of games. The recent release of Sea of Thieves for the Xbox One and PC is one such great example of a games as a service showing me what kind of experience we could possibly have in the future. Now, of course, the game does not have a lot of its own content at this time, but there is a lot of unique opportunity for emergent gameplay that already exists. And when you add that with the possibility of new content being added to the game, 
for free, mind you, then we certainly have a bright potential, one that I'm really looking forward to. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about games as a service. Is this something that you really are interested in? Let me know in the comments below. But till then, down Phoenix out. Thank you very much for tuning in to my introductory episode for the new channel. I want to go ahead and answer a couple of quick questions from Majority, who asked me, since I will be uploading on both channels, which one will I anticipate taking a backseat to the other? Well, the old channel will be the one that's taking the backseat. I think I made that clear whenever I mentioned that I'm going to be uploading videos two weeks after. However, I still want to support the old channel and I want to leave it open and just be flexible in case things don't pan out with this new channel. And another question I'd like to answer, what kind of success do you hope to achieve on the new channel? Well, mainly I just want to be able to kind of beat some of the muck that I've been having with the old channel. I have a feeling that because of starting fresh, starting brand new, I'll have a better chance in utilizing search results and algorithms, being able to use tagging more efficiently, things like that. I have a feeling that a new channel is going to fare better than one that's been around for a very long time and hasn't had much success. So I hope that the channel will see greater growth so I have a better opportunity to share with you guys my experiences and everything. But if it doesn't pan out, I still have the old channel to fall back on. So I hope that answers your question. And thank you very much for tuning in. If you have any questions, go ahead, drop them in the comment below. And you might have your question read in a future episode. But till then, down Phoenix out.